Hi there, my name is Seska Bjenneke and you are watching my very first official YouTube video. <laughs> in this video, I'm painting an autumn forest scene in my bedroom because, well, why not? Basically, as you can see, I started with a plain sky blue base coat for the sky's background. And listen, I had no idea how to make clouds, so I figured I need to educate myself, right? How did I do that? By watching a fellow YouTuber and teacher, of course. So here I want to credit Mural Joe as my teacher. I've watched a lot of his videos and basically all I know about realistically painting a forest scene is what I've learned from him. So I will add a link to his channel and his video of how to paint clouds in the description below. That moving piece of fur over here? That is not a pillow, it's not a blanket, that is indeed my doggo Stoffel. <laughs> The technique I'm using with the clouds is basically starting with the base layer. I create a shape and then I lightly tap over it with lighter colors to show where the sun is coming from. And the different colors makes it end up looking like a cloud instead of just a blob. I'm using white grays and a slight pinkish, purplish, orangey mixture and some blue grays. I do just want to apologize for the bad lighting. I was using natural sunlight as well as painting during the evenings. So my lighting is not very consistent. I feel like I don't want to cut out when people or my dogs come into the room. I feel like in some way it makes my video a little bit more relatable for you watching. And I also want you to see what happens in an average day of painting. You know, sometimes I step back to see the bigger picture. I have coffee breaks. My mom pops in. Boyfriend chills with me. I'm human, right? <laughs> Stoffel likes to come steal some of my attention and remind me mostly to smile. <laughs> you know, if you aren't used to it, it becomes very tiring to paint above your head the whole day. I think on this day, I spend about four hours painting just on the clouds, so it's very time consuming, but by now I'm quite used to the strain on my arm. <laughs> The pictures on the wall are my reference pictures for this mural. I'm not painting exactly what's on the photos. For example, the clouds are actually completely improvised. In the photo, it's actually a very grey overcast day, but I wanted the sky's reflection in the water to be a bit darker, you know. I wanted some more blues and some more texture in the water, so I decided it was going to be a less overcast autumn day. <laughs> that cutie pie is Dolce. My dog Stoffel doesn't really like her to be in my room as you can see, so he kind of chases her out sometimes. <laughs> Poor thing. I think with the clouds it's very important to just let go. You need to stop trying to be so controlling because clouds are not something that you can control. So when I ended up just letting go and, and letting the music take me and letting the, the, the sound of the brush strokes take me into the painting, the clouds started looking so much more realistic and my mind completely quieted down and my hand just knew what to do and the clouds just came up out so much more realistic than I tried to make them. So when you get into the flow, it's really important to let the flow flow. I added this part of mixing paint just to show you how time consuming it can become. Once you know what color you are working with, it's quick to mix because you know the ratios. But 
With creating these clouds, I've come to understand why people like Mural Joe prefer mixing straight on the wall. It's just a quicker process and in general, and you end up saving a lot more paint. I added the atmosphere afterwards instead of when creating the sky drop. I found a video where Meryl Joe explained the importance of atmosphere and decided that it was a crucial element in making, making the painting look more realistic. So I did that by lightening the bottom of the sky drop and darkening the top and I also added some stipple clouds. Towards the end of the video, you will see that I add a lot of white to my clouds. I decided that they were just too perfect and too dark. I wanted them a lot more fluffier and realistic, so the white made that happen. Even though I had to be very careful with not adding too much paint to my brush at a time, I still look at them and I think, mm, it's not realistic enough. But I mean... We work through experimenting with trial and error and if we keep going back to the clouds, the project is no, never going to get finished. So I think this is about the end of it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please leave a comment below if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. This is a very big mural so there's going to be a few more videos until completion. So stay tuned and goodbye for now. <laughs>